How long should a blowjob last? If you've ever given a blowjob before, you've probably wondered at some point, how long should this thing last? After all, you want your partner to have a good time, but, while you're no doubt a giving person, you probably don't want to be doing it forever. So, what's the sweet spot? It's very subjective, but not as long as most porn makes it out to seem, says New York City sex therapist Ian Kerner, PhD, author of She Comes First. According to Kerner, blowjobs can be more arousing than sex for guys, and most men last around 5 to 7 minutes during intercourse. That puts the length of a good BJ somewhere under 7 minutes. But, Kerner points out, it also depends on what kind of blow job you're giving. Namely, is it an appetizer or an entree that's supposed to end in ejaculation? If it's the former, just a few minutes is great, he says. Sex therapist Deborah Leno, DHS, recommends somewhere around 10 minutes. But don't panic. That's not 10 minutes of actual sucking. That's 10 minutes of teasing, licking, and sucking, she explains. Variation is always key in giving blowjobs. That means licking his navel area, then rubbing and licking his thighs, and going down and sucking on his penis, before coming back up and fondling other areas of his body. If you find that your jaw gets sore when you're sucking, Leno recommends adding in more of those extra, non-sucking moves. You can also try this trick. Apply lube to his penis and wrap your hand around the base. Then, suck the tip while moving your hand up and down. It can feel like deep throating to him, Leno explains, adding that it can speed up the process if it seems like he's taking a while to finish. Ultimately, though, experts say the ideal length of a blowjob depends on your guy's level of arousal and whether or not sex is going to follow. Just keep this in mind. While you're curious about how long a blowjob should last, most guys probably aren't watching the clock while you go down on them. I don't think most guys measure in time as much as if they have permission to come, or if they're planning on transitioning to intercourse, Kerner says. But, he adds, a slow, lingering, thoughtful, loving blowjob is generally preferable to one that's fast and furious. Friends. If you like these facts, do share with your friends, and subscribe to this channel to stay connected with us. Thanks for watching.